Welcome viewers. Uh, we are being joined by a very special guest uh, from Maldives. He he is a former vice president and former tourism minister of Maldives and perhaps uh, one of the most credible voices in the politics of uh, Maldives. Mr. Adib, thank you so much for joining us here on CNN News 18. Appreciate you joining and perhaps uh, agreeing to speak to us on the fresh diplomatic row that has started after the derogatory remark that has been made by a sitting minister of, of Moizu government. First of all, your thoughts on that, your reaction to the derogatory remark that has been made against Prime Minister Modi. Thank you very much for having me here. Um, I have tweeted as well. Um, I think Maldives government has already condemned and I believe I, I also strongly condemn the derogatory remarks and also the racist comments which is very uncalled for, and, and I think it's not important. And these may, ministers are deputy ministers uh, who were before activists in the party, but now they should understand this is, they are also in senior positions of the government of Maldives, so they should not engage in, in Twitter or social media on this, this kind of rows. And, and I think this is very uncalled for, and, and, and I believe that Maldives government should take more stern action on this. Well, so sentiments are flowing high. And in fact, there, there, there are a lot of emotions attached to Prime Minister Modi. Prime Minister Modi is not just a Prime Minister of India. He is perhaps the leader of the Global South. He is also a global leader with the highest approval rating. He not only have followers in India, but all across the globe. And, and the way it is trending on social media platforms, the way, uh, you know, the minister to the sitting minister being bashed on social media platform. He, she is being asked to, uh, to apologize and perhaps even people are asking for her resignation. Do you see that the only roadway, the only way to get out of this current row is to make the sitting minister resign? I think government of Maldives should um, make them resign as well and make them apologize and as well as uh, build more firm relations with, with India. Because, uh, as you said, uh, Prime Minister Modi is, is a regional power and also a global leader, as well as Maldi uh, India is going towards a $5 trillion economy. So yes, Maldives yes. should go forward with hand-to-hand -hand with India and integrate our economies. Uh, Maldives has been blessed with uh, Indian investors and also Indian celebrities who have promoted Maldives uh, during my time. I brought yeah. also a lot of yes. uh, Indian celebrities. Yes. So we should yeah. go forward hand in hand and we should not uh, give room for these uh, misunderstandings and also hatred and also intolerance is not part of Maldives tourism ever. So we have to we have to go forward and we have to reconcile. And I would say we, uh, the Maldives government should take uh, strong action against these ministers and then uh, build more good relations with India. Yeah. And sir, also, uh, in fact, when uh, when uh, the previous regime was in power in Maldives, India and Maldives have come closer. There was a good coordination, good understanding between the two governments. In fact, a lot has been done to make the relations rock solid. Do you see that the government of uh, President Moizu is perhaps, uh, you know, derailing uh, uh, the efforts or perhaps, you know, uh, uh, the roadmap which... Uh, which was decided when the previous government was in power as far as relations with India is concerned. Yes, uh, as you see, the, the COVID and all the difficulties, whenever Maldives said, it was India who helped us. And I would say if it wasn't for India, we would have never recovered uh, from COVID and also the economic impacts came with it. So as you know, this India Out campaign started from the previous uh, former President Yamin so, which was inherited by the president, uh, Moise. But when you are in opposition, you can, uh, you know, you have all sorts of campaigns. But when you are in power, you should be more responsible because you are dealing with uh, with a nation and 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 and, uh, and Maldives economy totally depends on the tourism and the livelihood of people depends on it. So, I think we are going. It's derailing. I, I agree, but I, I think that there is a, a very bad uh, way forward. Now, Maldives yeah. economy will not survive uh, with, with without uh, good relations with India. Okay, when the elections, general uh, elections in Maldives were going on, they were they largely, uh, I mean, sitting in India, we saw those elections happening 
between pro india and pro china forces so mr moizu is seen as somebody who is a uh, pro china but the fact is that uh, india is the net uh, security provider in indo pacific india is the first responder and india's policy has be always been neighborhood first and when uh, such behavior in fact uh, there was some tensions uh, as far as uh, the presence of troops in maldives is concerned which was uh, being handled uh, uh, in a very matured manner by both the countries there was a core group which was uh, formed to look into the matter but what has happened now the way the tweets were made it looks like that uh, this minister has the blessings of the senior leadership in the government of maldives because despite uh, the row and and you know despite the harsh uh, uh, criticism of the tweets and the condemnation there has not been any resignation or perhaps news of resignation of the minister all we have been told or perhaps have been informed by the government of maldives is that they have distanced themselves from the statement in fact there is also no mention of the action against uh, the sitting minister how do you look at this behavior of the government yeah as you mentioned uh, the, the 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 former president jamin made a political uh, issue of uh, india uh, and i would say when you are in the government we should handle it more maturely uh, yeah. it is uh, diplomatic because this is uh, the defense uh, agreements and also the helicopter agreements were mostly for medical aid medical evacuations yes. which yes. were the agreements which was signed by the previous same party which is already in the power so there are agreements uh, signed uh, so we should deal it diplomatically and and if they if they want to get out from it also they have to review the agreements and come out of it because there will be clauses on that but it should everything should be done diplomatically it's it is not a uh, something for the social media or a media and, and and also sir i would also like you to highlight because in fact the data is available with us also that how indian troops have saved lives of uh, uh, of people in maldives by doing air air evacuations and in fact india has always been the first responder whenever maldives uh, uh, required help i would i, I yes. want you to throw some light on that yes uh, it were uh, in fact where uh, it was in president yamin's government when i was also the tourism minister he actually signed up for for the next helicopter as well as the next donia uh, flight which is yeah. being used for maldives now for over 8 to 10 years for, for medical evacuation which has saved lives and those troops are for the maintenance of of the craft so there has never been any local incident where where the local people has been upset on that so these are diplomatic things this is not the only country where the foreign troops are based so there is mutual benefits on that so th- these are diplomatic things that that has to be settled uh, you know within the closed uh, doors and it's not it, sh- it should not be you know uh, done in the media social media and the media i don't believe in that so do you yeah so do you ask for a resignation of a sitting minister do you want yeah, yeah. action should be taken against her Yes, in the larger uh, they, good of the relations between the two countries yes they should both should be resign and and also government should uh, suspend them or actually, uh, make them resign uh, and take stern action to show that that uh, we will not tolerate this kind of behavior towards uh, a global leader and and also this and it it hurts the sentiments of uh, 1.5 billion people you know and yeah. we cannot do that and we should not do that and it's and if you take the whole maldives the maldives population we all love india you know so it it doesn't represent the sentiments of of the whole population of maldives or the maldivian okay. people okay and and also want to know about this that uh, even if we go by the data that is available in public domain india has surpassed uh, 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 the trade with maldives the uh, flow of people to maldives Uh, and it is now the it's stopping the charts as far as the tourists are concerned to maldives now in these times when the people from the bollywood you know the main brand ambassadors of the maldives tourism are promoting lakshadweep are perhaps uh, you know tweeting about it how do you look at this change in narrative and do you hold the current regime accountable and responsible for this change in narrative and changes uh, change in preference of not just the bollywood celebrities but the other influencers uh, in the in, in india those who were promoting maldives tourism before but now have uh, you know perhaps talking about the other destinations like lakshadweep and uh, and and other good uh, tourist places in india yeah i believe because of this row this social media yeah. irresponsible comments has uh, ignited that 
uh, and, and I believe that uh, Lashdweep is very beautiful islands uh, yeah. uh, in India. Yeah. And I think yeah. uh, India is blessed with Andaman Islands, Lakshdweep, yeah. uh, yeah. which can be developed mm. anytime, uh, which Indi- mm. if India wants. And it can be a, a direct competition for Maldives as well. Mm. But I think having a neighboring uh, uh, destination, which is similar to us, which will also benefit to us if we work together. So, mm. so by uh, irresponsible remarks, by igniting a, a country so close to us, I think it will be very detrimental for, detrimental for Maldives. So we should focus on uh, promoting and we should build more relationship with India. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us here on CNN News 18. Appreciate you joining us. And perhaps, uh, the, you know, the, everyone who follows Prime Minister Modi, who is a follower of uh, Prime Minister Modi, appreciates your position uh, on this entire uh, issue. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.